Hello and welcome to another new episode of Learning Simplified. In our previous video, we had just initiated the filters used in AngularJS and in this video and in the next, we will be discussing on the number filter and especially the date filter which has been used along with the same. Stay tuned. In our last video, this is the progress so far that we had made. We had practically made usage of a filter of uppercase which transforms any text into its uppercase level. So that is why we can see that the inputs Sunil, Vaichun, Vision, which are in uppercase into our HTML display. If we have a look into our text editor, we can see that the same is not in an uppercase format. It is in a default value. We had inputted it in a normal way. As you can see that the first letter is the capital one or the uppercase one and the rest of them are lowercase letter, which is very much seen in our normal way of writing. If we head back to our index.html, we can see that this is the usage of an AngularJS filter where we had practically made usage of this uppercase filter here. And we can see this in turn practically converts all of these texts into its uppercase format. This is up to which we had learned in our previous tutorial, but on the other hand, there are some more added filters which helps us in determining many things, something like the number of decimal values and the date format which has been used through us. So this is what we are going to learn here. We will be now talking about the number filter and in the next video, we will be now talking about the date filter. Now in an order to achieve the number filter, first of all, let's head back to our custom script JS and here we will be now adding another data information here like the average goal average goal so here it is and we may put any number here as we wish this is just a test right so we will be seeing what we are using here so i am inputting this one five seven six five one one two there it goes now this piece of information will be followed elsewhere. We will be using the same parameter and some different values. So here instead of this 1.57, we might be using like this 3,2,4,4,9,6 for say. And in the last case, we will be putting here something like 1.671674. Now, if we press Ctrl S and if we head back to index.html, first of all, what is the name of the parameter here? Average goal. So, we will be now creating another column into the table that we had created and we will be naming it as average goal and in the last case we will be adding another column which will be holding the information regarding the number of average goals being scored by each footballer. So here it goes, press Ctrl S, let's head back to our project and reload. And we can see that the data is being displayed over here. I think we have used an additional digit in the first case. So we will be changing it. Let's restrict ourselves within six digits after decimal. There it goes. 
So press Ctrl S. Let's head back to our project and reload. Okay, everything is in order right now. Now let's see the application of numbered filter here. What is it exactly going to do? So before anything else, we will be using another pipeline here and we will be putting this parameter here, this number. So if we now press Ctrl S and if we have a closer look what happens right over here after reloading, if we reload this page, we can see that immediately the number is now restricted within the first three digits after the decimal point. And this digit is practically rounded to the next value. If we head back to our text editor into this custom JS, we can see that this is the number in the first case 1.576 so 6 is the third number that is why this thing it will be rounded up to 7 as it is right now there won't be any change but after 6 there is the 5 so 6 will be now rounded up to 7 that is why we can see that this is the 1.577 in the similar fashion, the next number is 1.324. First of all, as we had told before that this number, it will be restricted to within first three digits. As we can see here, if we head back to our text editor, in case of this Vaichun column, we can see that 324. So 2, the next digit is 4. So it won't be changed. It won't be changed to the next rounded figure. Next comes after 4, there is another 4. So this 4 will also be remaining unaltered. In the similar fashion, let's have a look here. 6, 7, 1. So it will be restricted within first 3 digits. And we can see that after this 1, there is 6. So it will be now rounded up to 1.672. And if we head back to our HTML browser, we can see that the exact same thing is been reflected right over here. So the point is, whenever we use this definite filter here, number, the first thing is our number will be restricted to first three digits right after the decimal point. And the second thing is it is going to round up itself into the next possible value. Now let's head back to our index.html and here after this number we are currently using this too. So all we are going to do now instead of restricting the decimal values into three digits we will be now practically restricting them within the two within the first two digits and the second digit will be rounded up in an accordance to the next one. So if we now head back to our text editor press ctrl s now let's head back to our html browser and let's reload we can see that the exact same thing happens so the second digit is now getting rounded up into the next possible digit as we can see that 1.577 here it goes these two values will be concerned and after this second digit we can see that 6 is the value. So 7 will be rounded up to the next possible value of 8. And this is exactly been seen right over here. 2 will remain unchanged because after 2 we have 4 which is lesser than 5.5 actually or 0 0.05 or whatever it is. Any number of digits which is exceeding 5 it will be rounded off to the next possible value. So in this case, as we can see that after 2, the next possible value is 4. So 2 won't be rounded up to anything. It will be remaining unchanged. And that is why we can see that this is 1.32. In the similar fashion for this third decimal value, we can see that 6, 7, 1. So 1 is the uh, third digit here. So 7 will be remaining unchanged. And that is why we won't be seeing any kind of changes into the second digit after the decimal point. So this is the number filter as been used in Angular JS. We can practically set or confirm the total number of 
decimal values, the number of digits after the decimal point and we can restrict them to anything like instead of number 2 we may use here number 1 and we will be seeing that this value will be now changed into something different like this 6 here or this 3 or this 7. So everything will be rounded up into next possible value and the number of digits can be specified by us. So this is the number filter as been used in AngularJS. Now in the next case, we will be learning about the date filter, which is also very important. Stay tuned.